Place value of numbers. The scientific research team is about to launch, and the members are making final preparations. Timmy is reading a magazine, which is an introduction to the age of the Earth. The oldest rock found on Earth to date is the Acosta hematite in Canada, which is about, whoa, the Earth is so old. How do I name the number after thousand? We can go back to what we have learned before. For numbers before 1,000, we count them one by one. Here is nine ones. After, we add another one. Ten ones is one ten. Counting ten by ten, full ten tens is one hundred. When we are counting toward hundreds, ten tens are one hundred. The rate of progression between each adjacent two counting units is 10, and this counting rule is called decimal system. However, when we come to numbers bigger than 1,000, we first use the numbers before to count them. 10 thousands count toward a 10,000, and the number presented by 1 and 5 zeros is called hundred thousands. When we come to one thousand thousands, it is named a million. Also, a million millions is called a billion. Ones, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, billions. They are all counting units or place values. In writing Arabic numbers form, we use a comma between every three digits going from right to left. Now that we've learned about counting units, let's look at the following problem. 214,569,837. Let's start with the numbers on the right side and arrange them in sequence from right to left. The number four is at the millions place, and the number of digits in this place means that there are so many millions. So, the number four means four million. The correct answer is B. To solve this type of problem, we need to divide it into three steps. The first step is to find out on which digit the number is located. And the second step is to find out the counting unit of the corresponding digit. The number simply represents the number of this counting unit, or the value of digit at this place. Have you got it?